A recent survey by the University of Indonesia shows that most of the buildings that collapsed in the Padang in the recent earthquake were poorly constructed. Experts say if the buildings were built according to construction codes, many lives would have been saved. Channel News Asia's Tan Yu Guan takes a closer look. Driving through central Padang, it's not hard to spot buildings still standing right next to those brought down by the quake. And it appears your chances of surviving this earthquake depended very much on the quality of the building you were in when the earth shook. I'm at the site of Ambachang Hotel. This Dutch colonial era building has become a symbol of this disaster in more ways than one. It also shows you the problem with the building industry here. Take a look for example. This Dutch colonial two-story facade has been left standing, but the extension has all collapsed. Four floors were added to the two-story structure when it was converted into a hotel. But while the facade stood the test, it's believed the additional load from the extension brought down the rest of the building during the trembler. Some 200 people lost their lives at this site alone. That accounts for nearly a quarter of the official death toll, which some say could have been avoided. There are very specific things that, that communities can do on the local level and the national level to make it so that we survive these events, so we don't see a, a whole classroom of students crushed under a building in Padang. You know, none of that has to happen if people have enough foresight and vision and enough uh, scientific information and engineering information, and if they have the economic wherewithal to do something about it. Something was done seven years ago to prevent this when rules dictating quick-proof buildings were passed. Under those regulations, buildings in Padang are supposed to withstand three times the shock felt on the 30th of September. When I sat down with the governor of West Sumatra, he admits that enforcement has been lacking. Untuk ke depan, pemerintah akan lebih berhati-hati lagi dalam menangani pembangunan kembali rumah ini. Jadi pemerintah akan membuat peraturan daerah yang mensyaratkan Rumah tersebut harus tahan tahan gempa dengan kekuatan tertentu, nah, yang disebut dengan construction code. Ya. Experts warn a tremor far bigger than the last one is in the pipeline. They say for West Sumatra, it's not a question of if, but when. Tanyu Guan, Channel News Asia, Padang, Indonesia.